All right, got a quick tech tip for you guys. So how do you get a bolt to stay in position until you can get a socket on it? Or how do you get that bolt or nut, in many cases, to stay on your ratchet while you put it in a place your hand can't reach? So you can't get your hands in there, you can't get your tools in there quite well. Well, two directions. So if you have uh, a part that is literally a pain to get to, Speaking of, there's a, let's see if I can get you in there. All right, so that's the starter right there. That top hole right there is blocked by the intake manifold completely, and it's against the block. So, and on the back side where the block is. So, yay. That guy tends to be a pain in the butt to actually get, a, you know, to it. So, a couple things. You can fish a, a rod, or excuse me, an extension with a socket in behind it, but you're blind. You can't see anything. You'd literally have to have somebody up top and you underneath. So uh, in many cases, that isn't a scenario that works for you. So what you can do, let's see if I can set this down real quick. All right. So you got your socket, you got your bolt. And now if you go in and just, uh, you know, put that in there that, you know, the, the chances are it's just going to, you know, fall out basically, right? So nifty little trick, take a little piece of paper, lay it on the socket, and just shove that in there. That is not going anywhere now. You can start threading that into place, get it going good, and then you just pull this off and the paper will fall out wherever and uh, your bolt stays in place. This is great for like trans bolt, transmission bell housing bolts, like that very top one. I mean, those reachable things that you can't get your hand and get this started in. This is a, a very good way to do that. Now, in this case, um, I'll be jabbing at a hole that I can't really see if you understand uh, what I mean there, because uh, it's behind and buried. So what you can also do is Take the same piece of paper, you know, just something small and easy. Just go around it a little bit, not all, not a ton, you know, just wrap it around there. And then you take the starter where that hole is at and just kind of jam that in there. Now, that basically keeps it there. And then at the same time, what I have done in many cases, I already know what it takes to fish it out so as i go up i'll take that guy off and put the shorter one on you can take and just slide that on the place and just hold it as you're going into place so that way you have a little bit of thread you got that in position it's kind of not wobbling around in there and then you just kind of hold it and go in place so that's another way you got this way and then of course there's the other one now with those combinations uh that should definitely help you get stuff back into position where before you couldn't get to it so throw some paper on there when you get done threading that in place pull that off paper falls off no big deal don't put so much that you get your socket stuck though although sometimes these are such a pain you don't care <laughs> it's worth the socket just get some needle nose in there or something get it out whatever but anyways hope that's helpful for you guys i'm jeremy this is chaos garage and that's another tech tip for you ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful day evening night <laughs>